In some emergency situations, hazardous materials can make a dangerous situation even worse. Yeah, but thanks to the Texas A&M Engineering Extension Service, those hazmat workers will now be better prepared. And it's all because of a new hazmat suit that Teeks helped design. KAG's HD News reporter Chris Costa shows us how these suits will keep our community safe and save money. The thought of putting on a thick rubber suit in the middle of summer may sound exhausting. Eric Martinez is one of the thousands of responders that the Texas A&M Engineering Extension Service, or TEKS, trains every year to be prepared for a hazmat situation. I like knowing all the stuff available to us, so it is nice to train under it. That way nothing's a surprise when it's the real deal. See, I've already got that pretty much closed and stopped. Mm -hmm. Teeks helped develop this hazmat suit along with an Alabama-based company called Kapler. What makes this suit unique? It can be washed, dried, and safely reused. And since Teeks uses up to 250 suits each week, it saves them money and gives trainees more experience. More training, better response. They learn how to train like they're going to fight. They'll do a better job when they get out there. So they can put these suits on as many times as they want while they're here. In this Texas heat, it can get up to 100 degrees inside these suits. By being able to train in more realistic scenarios, they can respond more effectively when they encounter a real situation. They've got an idea of what they're going to be facing. They'll know how to deal with the sensory deprivation inside the suit. Uh, it changes the way you see, uh, what you can hear, how you can move. Uh, what you can and can't do. Not only that, but it takes two people to put the suit on, meaning these students also learn time management, skill sets that are vital in emergencies. It's a peace of mind knowing that you've already done, you've already been in a suit, you know how to step, you know how the gloves are going to affect your hands. Um, in a real situation, you don't have time to figure all that out. Keeping themselves and their communities safe with real life preparation. In College Station, Chris Costa, KAGS HD News. Now, Teek says the new suit also saves a significant amount of money. The old suits were almost $700 a suit. Now, these new ones are less than $300 a suit.